Hello, Leslie here from Message in a Fold, and I have another gift idea uh, for your Christmas, another inexpensive gift idea. And, ooh, this is a big tile. It is like 18 inches by 18 inches. It is huge. Um, my husband Joe does all the Thanksgiving and Christmas cooking and so the turkey platter is kind of hot on the bottom and when we've put it on the table before the heat transfers through the bottom of the, the, the platter and it generally leaves a mark or a really hot spot on the table. Joe wanted to have a trivet and so I picked out this big tile. It's a porcelain tile. I'll show you in just a moment. This single tile was $2.11. So I'm going to use... This is something that I got from Fiskars a long, long time ago. It is a, an embossing thing, whatever. And I'm going to use the outside design. I went to my computer and used my... Oh, I can't, oh, what's the name of that thing? It's the Print Shop Pro. It's for a Mac. It's a uh, desktop publishing thing. You can make cards, posters, all kinds of things with it. Um, but I used it to create this. And I just printed it out. I have an inkjet printer, and I just printed it out on regular printer paper. But this is going to be for my home. So if it goes badly, then I can let you know. I can let you know what not to do. Whoops. Okay. So let's get down here and have a look at what I'm planning on doing. This is a porcelain tile that, and it goes up here quite a ways. It's 18 inches by 18 inches, so it's taking up quite a bit of my desktop, my working area, and it's it's fairly heavy. This embossing thing. This was before the embossing folders long time before is I tried this out laying it out in the center of this big tile so then I thought well I'll put that piece of paper right there in the middle well it it's too long for this I can cut this here I can cut this down a little bit so that it would fit Okay, that's that's cut pretty square. All right. Okay. Get rid of that. Now this will fit right in the middle there. And then I need to get this this design thing centered. So I think I'm going to keep this top one, so I think I'll use my painter's tape. And before I do that, I need to clean this off with some alcohol and a paper towel. Get a little alcohol on there. Get this wiped up. carried this around in the store for a while until I found Joe and the cart he was taking and boy was I glad to find him this thing is heavy put the piece of tape there so that's 
two inches and probably about a quarter of uh, one fourth of an inch and this is mm -mm -mm, two inches and not quite a quarter of one fourth all right so what is it up here at the top that is and down here at the bottom all right so both of these I need to move them over just a tiny bit and I need to move them up so for right now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it down the way that it is the other thing I want to do is block off this extra stuff because when I start painting and I think I'm going to use black acrylic paint Oop, I need a little tiny bit there okay there all right I've got that taped off some in that pan and then and I'm going to start here in the corner So I can have a nice and crisp image. Oh. I'm gonna let this dry. And after it's dried, I gotta go I gotta go clean this. Just warm water and soap will clean all of this off. Uh, but I'm gonna go clean this and then I'm gonna come back when this is dry and then I'll put this back on and then I'll put another color over the top so probably in an hour alright this is dry that didn't take very long to do <sighs> so I'm gonna put this back on this is pretty awful I wonder You know what I'm going to do before I go any further. <coughs> oh, hmm, alcohol. All right. I'm going to start over. This tile has a coating on it that hopefully won't be terribly porous. Okay, those of you that do stenciling, you probably, oh, you probably were cringing at my heavy-handed approach. All right, I'm going to go back to the black. But this time, I'm not going to use so much, I hope. Okay. Oh, 
Well, it's quite a bit better than what it was. Okay. So now I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to go rinse this stencil off again. This did not take very long to dry. So now I'm going to try and line this all back up. I think I'm going to try a little bit of the turquoise. That's a little damp, but... Okay, I'm only going to put a little bit in there. And I think I'll dry this a little more. Okay. And then I'm going to just, just barely get this wet with the paint. Just, I mean, it's not even fully covered. At what I have. Okay, that's pretty. That looks really nice. I don't know if you can see this. Let me see if I can get you down here. That looks really great. Now I'm going to let this turquoise dry and then I think I'm going to use some gold. Now I'm going to use the Gleams 14 karat gold acrylic paint. All of these paints, no, I can't say all of them, but this one I've had for several years. And some of the others are just recent, like a year or so ago. All right, now with the gold, I'm going to do what I did with the turquoise stuff. I'm just going to get a, like a dry, I'm going to do a dry brush effect. Well, there are some areas where there's a lot of gold. And there's some areas where there's just a little bit. And the turquoise peeks through along with the black. And I'm going to let this paint dry. I think that's going to look pretty good once I find a place to center it. All right, now I'm going to carefully apply, oh crap, apply this to the top. Mm -mm -mm. Crapazoid. All right, that's coming off. All right, I got to clean this off. All right, this time I sprayed my paper with some triple thick clear glaze. I sprayed it on really good and saturated it and left it outside for about a half an hour. And then I covered it. I mean, I cut it. Okay, so now now we're going to do the gluing thing again and then put my thing in there. <coughs> and 
use the brayer. Finally, that's working. Now I'm just going to put this dishwasher safe Mod Podge all over the paint. Oh no, some of that paint is starting to come up. Okay, this will dry now. And the next coats that I put on will seal in all of the specks. Ugh. Like here. This is the acrylic paint that's come off. Whoa. like right here when I used the brush and up here on this top part a lot of the acrylic paint came off when I used this brush to put this Mod Podge on This one I'm going to need to put more feet on. Uh, one in each four corners. I'm going to have, I'm going to put three, five, seven, eight, and probably four in the center. So I'm going to use about twelve of them.